in a world created with the new 14W32 Minecraft snapshot, one man decided to show you the features. This is going to be a quicker one, not too much stuff to go over, but hey, it's a bonus video for the day anyway, so why not? Let's get into things. So first and foremost, we've got a new block that's actually not a block, it's an entity, but I'll just call it a block, because why not? It's an armor stand. The way you make the armor stand is with this crafting recipe, and I guess I may as well just go ahead and and make one so you can see what it looks like. There we go, put the slab in. You can use any slab you so desire. I just happen to be using the regular old stone slab. This is what the armor stand looks like in your inventory, and then you can go ahead and place it down. So, interestingly enough, as I mentioned, it's an entity, so you may have seen it sort of bounced a little when I put it down. That's because it, uh, it works with gravity. So if I destroy the block from under it, then hey, it's it's gonna rest on the ground. So how does it work? Well, I've got some armor in my uh, in my inventory here. All you do is right click on your armor stand and it will equip the armor. We can do it with every single piece. If you wanna retrieve the armor, empty slot in your inventory, just click on it and you will retrieve it. If we switch on over into survival mode, you can just get a, a quick look at how it works when I put stuff on and then uh, in turn end up destroying the stand. Say I destroy it with all the stuff on, then it's just going to drop everything. And likewise, if I just put it down like so and hit it a couple times, then it destroys. So that's armor stands. Now, interestingly enough, because it is an entity, uh, it can do things like ride around in a minecart. So let me swap back over into creative mode and I'll get him going around. And there we go. Whee! <laughs> We got a little ghostly armor stand dude uh, riding in a minecart. Again, that's because it's an entity, so it can do that. All right, next up, we now have red sandstone and the blocks that sort of go along with it. So red sandstone, we have the red chiseled sandstone, we have the smooth red sandstone, stairs, and slabs. Uh, the crafting recipes for it, just the same as with regular sandstone. So get four of these blocks in order to, to start it off, and then you know the rest of the drill. You're also able to find the red sandstone naturally, as I think you would assume. It appears in uh, in the biome I'm standing in, so over here where we have this little divot in the ground, hey, you got some naturally generating red sandstone, so you can skip a step if you don't want to craft it using the, uh, the regular old red sand. And once again, just a, a quick look at it right over here on top of regular sand, so you get the contrast. All right, next up, we've got a quick new thing with coarse dirt. Just as a reminder, coarse dirt is over here on the left, regular dirt over on the right. The difference being, once again, coarse dirt doesn't let grass spread to it. So now, if you go ahead and till the coarse dirt, it'll turn into regular dirt. And that's about that. Pretty simple change right there. And then you can till your normal dirt as usual, etc., etc. Finally, Pretty, pretty cool stuff right here with the beacon. So now if you put stained glass over the beacon, it will actually change the beacon beam to be whatever color the stained glass is. Pretty nifty. So you got the basic beacon beam down here. Alliteration, basic, be basic beacon beam. Try to say that 10 times fast. Then we've got red, orange, rainbow, etc., etc., all the way up. You can see how the beam changes until it hits black and it's black all the way into infinity and beyond. So yeah. That's, uh, that's about that when it comes to this week's snapshot. Apparently there's some super secret feature that was added as, as is actually done each week, I, I think, but no one seems to have figured it out yet as far as I'm aware. So that's it as far as what's known to have been added. So on that note, thank you guys for watching. If you've enjoyed, a rating would be very much appreciated. And I guess on that note, I will see you next time.